web app for exploring Bezier and spline curves. And uh, anyone who has internet access and has a computer or mobile device with a reasonably modern browser can use this app the same way that I'm using it here. So um, let's get started. Uh, Bezier curves and spline curves are used quite a bit in the design of airplanes, automobiles, and also on a much smaller scale, fonts, every shape of every letter. So this app enables us to use both Bezier curves and spline curves. We will start with Bezier curves. The red curve you see is a Bezier curve, and it's really just a polynomial. But the main property that makes it unique here is that it is determined by the four control points that you see, which are shaded in blue. So if I start the animation, as you see the yellow point move along the curve, the blue circles get larger and smaller as the point moves. And as the point moves, the parameters move. The size of each blue circle is determined by the value on the graph of the curve that's colored green right next to each control point. So now let's stop the animation. I can also move the control points, and as you see, these move the curve. So you can just click and drag to move the control points. What you can also do is click and drag to move the point on the curve. Another thing that's a feature of this app is that you can click the skeleton checkbox, and now we see only some straight lines, and there is a subdivision algorithm called de Casteljau's algorithm, which enables you to calculate the value of the yellow point given the current locations of the control points and given the parameter. So if I start the animation, you will see as the yellow point moves along, the um, de Castellau points and lines move. And I explain a little bit more about what these are if you click the Help button. So now let's stop the animation and let's um, uncheck Skeleton and we get back to the Bezier curve. Now let's click the Spline radio button. So now we have a situation that looks more complex than the one before. In the Bezier case, we had four control points. In this case, which is a spline, we have eight control points, but the number is arbitrarily large. It must be at least four, though. And what this curve is, it's a piecewise cubic polynomial where you see those black, red, little rectangles on the curve. That is where we switch from one cubic polynomial to another. So if I do the start animation, then we see the yellow point moves along the curve. And once again, as in the Bezier case, we see the blue circles expand and contract. But one critical difference here is that at most, four of the circles have blue in them. So the yellow point is always at the center of mass of the four blue circles. So if we stop the animation, we can click and drag various control points and we can see the curve move. You can also see the green graphs of the B-spline basis functions adjacent to each control point. And we can also drag the yellow point along the curve. And as we do that, we see the graphs, the little points on the graphs, 
move, and we also see the blue circles expand and contract. We can also click the skeleton box, and this is analogous to the Bezier case. We are now seeing an algorithm in action that's being used to compute the yellow point based on the parameter and based on the control points. This algorithm was developed by Carl de Boer. So anyway, I will now stop the animation and uncheck the skeleton. And if we reset the curve, it just puts it back to its starting shape and starting parameter. So I hope you will give this web app a try. And here again is uh, the URL of where you can find the web app and give it a try. Enjoy using it.